Good morning, Laguna Woods. Glad you tuned back in. We've had, this is our third show on using your smartphone. And we use our smartphone because we all have it with us, but maybe we haven't been using it to the greatest extent because the Bible is very clear. Now, yesterday we talked about how to get the Bible on your phone. And that's one thing we forgot. I forgot to mention yesterday, Jeff. When you download that app, you which was you version, right, right. you have downloaded the Bible, the whole Bible that you can use any time, right? Yeah. Not only the whole Bible, but there's different translations of the Bible exactly. that, you can, that you can read, whether you're into you know, New International Version or some of the, you know, the King James Version. There's all kinds of versions. On so it. you actually get to choose the version. And, and let me just say, and this is another thing, we tried to walk through how you do that. But there's always, there's two backup plans. We talked about one. One is come to church service and Either Jeff or I or numerous other people would love to sit down and help you figure this stuff out on your phone. Secondly, though, is if you have grandchildren, maybe even children, they know how to do all this. Just yeah. tell them what you want to do, and they'll help you do it. Because yeah. we, re we realize that there, there are different phones and that may be a little bit confusing, and we totally understand that. But the hope is that, as Rick said, if you have questions, just, just don't give up. Just come. We're glad to help you. So we yeah. talked about yesterday how to get the apps on your phone. But w I encourage us. I wanted to do one more show just because I think this, there's one simpler way than that. But here's, here's the verse for the day. I'm just using a, a, a familiar one. First Thessalonians 5.11, it says, Encourage each other and give each other strength. I wanted to use this verse because encourage each other. And using the phone and keeping in communication, it's an encouragement to those with whom we have uh, communication. But I wanted us to spend just a couple of moments today talking about the simplest way to get to all these things, and that is through the Internet. Now, do you know the, the phone is a connection to the internet. How do we do that, Jeff? Okay, on the Apple and on the yeah. Android, it may be a little different. There's an, how is the uh, Safari icon labeled? Because there's a tool on the iPhone called Safari, and that's really... So the yeah. iPhone, it's it, at the bottom, well, it, it's, just a, it's a picture of a compass. There you go, it's a compass. It's just, look yeah. for the compass at the bottom on your phone. Okay. If you have an iPhone. If you don't have an iPhone, what do you look for? And on this Android, it's either going to be an icon that just says Internet or Chrome, which Chrome is a, a tool that Google has to access the Internet. So yeah. touching either one of those. Either one of those will work. So let's go ahead. If you're following yeah. along, just touch that. I'm touching the compass. Yeah. You're touching. I'm touching the Chrome. The it's kind of a multicolor icon there. <laughs> now that brought something up, and uh, assuming you have been on it before, there you have registered your account. If not, you do have to do that. But if you have, now all you have is a web page, right? Well, now, for example, it probably is the last web page that was ever. It will on be the there. last web page, or if you've never used it, like for example, mine pops up with kind of a Google search page. Okay. So the first time opening up, it takes me to Google, and there's actually a search box, like we talked about in other shows, so you, you can search for anything. So that's my point, and same here. Uh, now, I I actually had a I had looked at a Saddleback page was my last page, so that's what came up. Right. But at the very top, if you have an iPhone. You just touch the very, it's a thin bar. You touch that once, and then the, your keyboard shows up at the bottom. You can type in anything. Yeah. It's a search engine, but it, it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, same thing. So we talked about, we did U version, Y-O-U version of the mm -hmm. Bible yesterday. Another one is called Glow, G-L-O. Bible, and if you just type in Glow Bible, what Rick's doing is basically this is going to work very similar. If you also work on a computer from time to time, 
and you're going into the Internet browser, whether it's Internet Explorer or Safari, it's going to work very similar to that. Just a miniature version, but work very similar. Yeah. So then it come then then it the search and it produces. Oh, here's the website. You just you just so you just actually it comes up Glow Bible, the Media Bible. It says right. calls itself. Yeah. One other thing, Rick, that I don't be mentioned yeah. last time. We talked about installing apps, uh, and apps are really only something that's going to be on a phone or a an iPad or a tablet. And that all it really is is just a special tool that presents these internet type programs in a simplified way to use on these small devices. So for example, Glow Bible, you can use it in your browser or Safari on, yes. on or you could use the Glow Bible, which also has an app. Yeah. And so you're basically using the same tool, just one is simplified in an app version for these small devices. You have the internet, friends, at your disposal. And so you've got to try Facebook. If you haven't already, that's how we keep in, our family keeps in touch now, putting up pictures of, and, uh, of, of what they're doing. Yeah, and our church family. That's and how we, keep, family. we stay connected that way. We have a wonderful Saddleback Laguna Woods Facebook page, and we yes. put everything that's going on and events that are happening. We even have a link to these shows. These shows are put up on the Internet on YouTube, uh, so people that miss them. Well, Facebook with a link to YouTube, right? Exactly. Facebook yeah. with a link to YouTube. But you'll actually, you can get to it from the Facebook page. Just yes. click on it. Uh, and uh, so you can go ahead and watch the shows you've missed. And the greatest thing is you can share those with people that maybe never even saw them in the first place. It's a great way to, to you know, if something here is a blessing to you, then you can share it with your friends very easily. Yeah. So that's Facebook, and I hope, I mean, I know that, you know, there's been talk that, well, that's, I've even heard them say it's dangerous or something to put your personal stuff. We're well, really not putting personal stuff out there. And there's, you have control over no, that. You have control. There's no need to. Yeah. But it's a great way to keep in touch with your friends and family. Absolutely. So Absolutely. there's that. And uh, But the other one I'd like to get, we've talked about, you mentioned it, but right. YouTube, Y O U. And, and YouTube is really more focused on videos and video yeah. content. There's anything from short clips to, to full movies and documentaries that are there. And that just happens to be also a place that this show is available to, Inspiration for Today. You can search for that and find us. We actually have a whole channel on YouTube just for this show. Exactly. And so if you've missed any shows, you can go on YouTube and find them. Uh, but you also can uh, share those. And by the way, I was encouraged to mention one more time, another time, that if you would like to come down and tell your story and what the Lord has meant in your life, we'd love to have you. Just let us know by either calling or emailing uh, our, the, the, the numbers that are, that are often shown. Because We'd love to have a way that you could share what the Lord has done in your life with your whole family. It's such an easy thing. Once we do a 10-minute show, it only has to be 10 minutes, you can then send that link to anyone around the world. It's a neat way to tell your story. Great idea. So Great I idea. wanted to say that yeah. again. Yeah. And so anyway, Jeff, thank you for... One, other, help. Go one ahead. other point I wanted to mention, yeah. just a reminder, uh, and about we talked about Facebook and YouTube and same thing and U version and Glow Bible. All of them also have accounts related to. So some of the features to uh, to use to connect with friends, you need to create an account, and that's why I would really encourage you. We're glad to help you, and so some of these things um, can seem a little tricky, but trust us, they aren't. But uh, again, more than glad, come on to a Sunday morning to a church service. We'll be glad to help you before or after. Like I said in the very beginning, 10 years ago, hardly anyone had email, and we all thought, we can't do that. Now, yeah. for most of us watching, that's just a part of life. Yeah. You can get the same way with these things, and, and we're glad to help you and be a part of your life. We want to. That's what the Christian life is all about. 